Well, we finally mowed back here. These are some of the leaves that were on the cover. I don't know if it'll show, but the lawn is wet here. You see, I'm like sinking in. Yeah, that's right, folks. The shitter's full. Shitter was full! Ah, uh, yeah. You checked our shitters, honey? Clark, please. We filled her. The drywell actually overflowed. We did some more vacuuming. And now, from the last video, look at this. You can just make out the main drain. The water's cloudy, there are still some leaves and stuff, but man, oh man, you can see the cloudiness of the water there, but then again, we just vacuumed again, so stuff has been kicked up. Uh, I have the water level over the skimmers, now it's below because we wasted that much water, and you can see all the stuff go in the skimmers. And there too. Sort of stopped vacuuming a little early. I was actually running low on water in the pool and it was starting to suck some air, so I didn't get to this section here. But, you know, about 90% of it is done. There's a little in the corner there. We're almost ready to put Robot in, but not just yet. We're close, and over here, I have the pool refilling. You can actually see the pattern of the liner at the bottom. So it has cleared up tremendously. Now, I don't know what the dry well holds. I always thought it was more over in that neck of the woods. I've never had this happen before in my 11 years here. So that's a little odd. They put a dry well in for this pool for whatever reason. I think it's just to make everything a lot easier because otherwise when you put it to waste, if you look, you can see that kind of flexible hose with the yellowy stuff on it, orangey stuff. That goes down, bends back behind here and goes into the ground and runs over into that dry well. Now every time I backwash, it goes in the dry well. Every time I vacuum, it goes in the dry well. So any wasted water from this pool goes in the dry well. So uh, we managed to fill it with all the vacuuming we did the other day and then today because again, the pool was just an absolute mess. That's what happened. And look at this. The pump stopped leaking as mysteriously as it started. That is the weirdest thing. That water I just had put there when I opened the basket to clean it out. But uh, it actually has cleared up and has stopped leaking. I, 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 I don't have any explanation. That was really weird. And you could see in the sight glass how green that was. That uh, will get flushed out next backwash. And also the filter has been doing a lot better. Look at that reading. This thing was pegged at like 28 every single day. And now it's what, 24-ish or something like that? So it's doing quite well now. Uh, we really cleared up a lot. Uh, it's very green when I backwash it, but it's supposed to be. And we're still working, you know, some more kinks out. Here's some of the leaves that were left on the vacuum. I leave them to dry out and it's much easier to peel them off that way. And that's it. It's actually coming together. There's still some green. We're going to have to brush it. I'm going to run Robot. It's got a filter still, so I'm going to be running it 24 hours a day and let it do its thing. But uh, miraculous recovery. You got to say, compared to the previous videos, absolutely miraculous recovery. <laughs> and you all thought I couldn't do it. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for now. Just another pool update. Um, probably the next pool update will be putting Robot in. And uh, that'll be it. We might touch up a little more manual vacuuming later on, but uh, gotta let the drywall settle for a while. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.